Have you done this before? I think if I go fast Where enough. Where's my security? We're gonna lose them. This is so cool. I know. It's a street. Wait. I think we're gonna go to uh, where the Friends Fountain is. Oh, this is cute. Here we are. Here we are. You know, you can't leave without saying goodbye to the lot. Okay. We got our jeans, we got our white sneakers, we got patterned shirts, we have sunglasses, we have uh, more do we need? the same part. We're basically the same person. We really are. Yeah. Ellen, tell uh, Justin I'm here if he needs me. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I only took one vacation when I was a kid. I grew up in New Orleans, as you know. I took right. one vacation my entire life, and it was to this studio. So I've only... And then you ended up here. And then I end up having a... That's crazy. ...a show and a stage. The year was 1904. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pizzeria! Have y'all ordered pizza? You guys gotta go get pizza. Oh, it's, the, it's the best pizza in there. Oh, hi! Oh. The Walking Dead. <laughs> here I am in front of my brand new offices here on the Warner Brothers lot. This is exciting. There's so much going on here. You know what? You can't even, you can't throw a stone without hitting somebody in the face. You just throw the stone. Oh! Oh, my God. oh Julie, let me try this. Hi, what the f was that? What the f was that? Ellen? Sorry. Yeah, hi. Um, okay. God damn it, what the hell? Am I bleeding? A little bit. Okay. Well, well go f yourself. Right. That was Nice. Let's go meet some neighbors. <laughs> you! We play by the rules. Yeah. Standing in a fire lane. Black cops. I got a bad feeling about this. Sure it's not the salad from the commissary? Black cops. Here. I'm bringing you some freshly baked cookies. They don't look like they've been cooked yet. Well, that's why they will be freshly baked. When are we some people, make people bring them, yeah. and then they're not really freshly baked because they were baked who knows how long ago. Hey, they said you were going to be naked, and we were hoping to. You smell good. You have such fresh breath. Yeah, get. Let's, let's do that again. I'm not going to do anything naked. Okay, great. Good. A little bit. You ready? Okay. Gee, I hope John Stamos is in here, and I hope he's naked. John? Oh, wow. Hi, John. Are you naked? Can you tell? What's going on in here? What's your trailer look like? It's, it's, Let me look. Just, come on in. Okay. John, I know you're not a real doctor. Really? But could you take a look at a rash? <laughs> just a quick look. Sure. I don't think it's I mean, anything. Right? 
But I, I have a that. feeling on the set of VR. This is very exciting. Wow. This is the operator. This is where all the magic happens. You know, it's our last season, right? People think, you know, it's because the ratings or with no people. We've run out of blood. We've got enough for 10 episodes and then we're finished. You're, you're cutting. Did you just really hit yourself? That's actually something you just did. I swear to God. Lay down. Doctor. Quick. I need a doctor. Stat. Lay down. I'll, help, I'll tell you how to do it. Yo, med student. What's up, man? You graduate yet? Not yet. Okay. Wait, I'm doing the scenes. This oh, is sorry. actually ER. Somebody. He really did cut himself. Hurry. He just hit himself. Hurry up, we're losing him. We <laughs> just relax. We just relax. <laughs> Mommy. You know, I like you better when you're on the MVP law. Okay. That's right. I'm hurting. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm so hurt. <laughs> Alan, look what you did to me. <laughs> All right, well, good seeing you, John. All right, thanks for the tour. Okay. Welcome to the Warner Brothers lot. Thank you. Now get off. Bye. Here's the deal. So we move on to the Warner Brothers lot, and we are right next door to Clint Eastwood's office and George uh, Clooney's office. And George Clooney's office is literally, like, right outside of our stage. And so what I did, because uh, he's just not walking over on his own, which we were hoping, um, I set a trap, not a trap, uh, a, uh, <laughs> not a trap. It's the, the attorneys told me to call it a temporary holding device. And <laughs> so I put some bait out for him, because he loves to play basketball. So I put a basketball, and I sprayed supermodel perfume all over it. And, <laughs> because he loves supermodels, so, and, and a TiVo, because he likes electronics, he's a guy. And so uh, I'm just trying to be neighborly, right? So yesterday, he was on the lot. So we have this uh, Clooney cam set up to all, always watch that door. So I reviewed the footage from the Clooney cam, and it turns out, look what he did. He sends a, somebody out, one of his lackeys, to, to check to see. Someone walks out of his office, looks around, checks the whole... This really happened. We, they, don't, they don't even know we have a camera set up, I don't think. <laughs> so he goes back in. He sees that nobody's around filming, because they don't know about our Clooney cam. <laughs> then George comes out. <laughs> puts something down in its place, and grabs, thinks he can just, <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm going to go get that orchid and see what I know what I'm going to do with it. I'll tell you that right now. I'll just move my Emmys and I'll put the orchid where all the <laughs> Emmys are. I'll just try to see if I can get my orchid, at least. I mean, that's sweet of him to leave that. All right. Let's see why this didn't work. I mean, these are nice for sure. 